The antis now are 12,000. Blinds are 6 and 12. And we are playing with the big blind ante format at this final table, which means one player in the big blind pays the ante for everyone around the table instead of everybody committing a small amount of chips. Modest Symbolis from Lithuania is going to raise with a jack five. Now Darren Elias, four-time WPT champion, has called. And the flop is a beautiful ace, four, three, two spades. Good for Darren Elias. Massive flop for Darren. Matis here really just has a gut shot to the deuce and is betting his position. It's a continuation bet of 20,000. Darren, poker pro they call end boss. He's going to re-raise with his huge drawing hand. Makes it 70 to go. Darren has all the outs in the world here. A deuce, six, or spade would give him the best hand. And so that raise is going to take it down for him. Darren Elias is taking home over three million in WPT earnings. Quite a player. 29 caches on the World Poker Tour. 29 caches and four wins. He is winning over 10% of the tournaments he caches. That's pretty amazing. All right, he is folded. And now Matt Waxman, they call him Waxy. Has an ace eight, and he'll make it 35,000 to go. Nick goes out and Modest now with an attractive ace queen. Well, Modest is in the small blind here. Some players three bet this hand, others call. Modest this time wants to go with a call. David Benjamin from France goes out. So two-way action, ace-queen versus ace-eight. And the flop is a 5-3 deuce. Check. Modus will check it. Check. They both check, go into the turn. It's a queen. Beautiful card there for Modus. And he is going to check it. Try to trap here a little bit, perhaps. Now, Modest checking over to Matt, looking for the check raise, but instead, Matt checks behind, and we see a six on the river. And Modest will bet the queens. So four to a straight out there, but a very unlikely hand for Modest to be holding. So I wonder if Matt intends to fold his ace high to one bet. Matt Waxman loves to steal pots, and he's been very successful at this final table doing so tonight. Doesn't always have to have the hand to win it. Yeah, Matt is a sticky player. He fights for pots, and the action clock is ticking down on him here as he contemplates this call, which he's going to make. So Matas does get a little value with top pair. Matt Waxman going to pay him off. Matas going to take that one down. And now we go back down to the table, five-handed. Action on Nick Schulman. He lives in Las Vegas now. And he folds his hand. Modus. He goes out. The Frenchman also not going to play. And it's around to Darren Elias. And he has a king eight. Then you mean a little tight on his button with the fold of jack seven. Darren limps in the small blind. We talked about how many professional players like to limp most of their range in the small blind. Limping their stronger hands allows them to protect the times they limp a weaker hand. Here, Darren has a medium strength hand and calls this raise from Matt. Flop comes up. It's a queen, eight, six. So Darren get lucky on that flop. He has out flopped Matt here. Check, check on the flop. And a deuce on the turn. No help for either player. Darren, now going to make a value bet with second pair. Matt with just a king jack. Well, Matt really likes fighting for pots. He doesn't have a draw. He has three clean outs to the jack. But it's going to work. Darren folds second pair. And so the aggression from Matt really paying off at this final table. And right now it's on Matt Waxman. Quick fold by him. Nick Schulman folding ace five. Modus out. And now finally the Frenchman pick it up. The big hand, pair of kings. Well, we talked about limping in the small blind with your strong hands to protect your weak ones. And David shares that philosophy. 
Well, he wants the chip leader to come over the top, but that's not going to happen. Darren, with just a jack deuce, not going to fall into any traps. Wants to see a flop. Here we go. And the flop is a massive jack deuce five here. Darren Elias flopping two pair. Disaster for David Benjamin, who was hoping to be able to play a big pot post flop with his kings. If that were to happen now, he would lose a big pot. Oh boy. So Darren has bet just a measly 15, getting called. And now it only gets better for Darren Elias. That jack should prevent David from getting stacked. Before, I think if the turn was a brick, he would have looked to get a lot of money in. Now, he's just gonna be calling down. 35,000 has been bet. Elias with his full house already. Benjamin's got to make that call. Going to the river. Has to hit a king here. Not to be. Four clubs on the river. That four is an interesting card because if Darren was semi bluffing with a hand like 4 3 or 6 4, he's now made a pair that he can check and just try and show down with. The fact that he's betting again and betting so big means his range has become polarized between strong hands like straights and trip jacks and weak hands like spades that are just bluffing. David here with a really tough decision. Yeah, the bet is 125 by Darren Elias. Very tough to get away from this hand. Clock is ticking down to five seconds and he's taking more time. Well, if you're in Benjamin's shoes and you get to the river like this, what hands are you calling with that are better than pocket kings? Like if you're gonna fold kings, What's a better hand than kings that you get there like this and you call with? I'm having trouble finding one. It's gonna take more time, but it's very tough to lay down this hand. I think 90% of the players would make this call at this point, but he's gonna make the good lay down. Wow. Look at that. He laid down the kings. Darren Elias picking that one up. What action we're seeing here tonight? Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT22 and get a $1,200 deposit bonus. Nick Schulman. He is going to look down at the best hand in poker, a pair of aces. Jack Deuce is awfully good if you're Darren Elias. And he is going to raise it. 32 total. Goes around to Darren. What you got, Nick? Roughly 320 to start. He won't do it. Last victim, Matt Waxman, will stick around with Jack Seven. He will splash around. Let's see if Matt gets lucky. Not really. Check. King 8-6 on the flop. Two hearts. Wax, he has checked. Showman with the aces. Gonna bet 35 and hope he gets a call. Now, Waxman is very tricky. Sometimes he just plays strong with a bluff, but he won't do it there. Showman gonna take that one. It's better than losing. It is better than losing. And especially at this table, where a lot of big hands have been cracked so far. Nick, I'm sure, a little frustrated that he didn't win a big pot, but happy that he won in general. The Frenchman, David, can't get a hand, goes out. Darren with ace nine of spades. And he will move it up to 35,000 to go. Into Waxman, who has a pair of nines here. And Matt could call, he could three bet, either option, quite reasonable. This time he's gonna call. Shulman, see what he's got. Wow, he's got a pair of ducks here. He's got about 21, 22 blinds. Some players move in pre-flop. Nick Shulman does not take the bait. 
Modest also going away, so ace nine versus a pair of nines. First three cards is at nine, six, four, two hearts, three of a kind for Waxman. What a flop for Matt Waxman. I mean, Darren not only has top pair, top kicker, but he's got the back door and a flush draw to go with it. As you can see, he is 4% to win this hand. Otherwise, Matt is going to take a chunk out of our chip leader. What a flop for Matt Waxman. He's going to make the bet of 40. Flops a set. He's got Elias flopping top pair, ace kicker. And he gets the call he wants going to the turn. It's a queen. Darren checks again, Waxman. We've seen him bluff numerous times tonight. This time he's got the goods, and he's betting 130. We have, and we've seen Matt be particularly aggressive with his double barrel bluffs. And so if Darren is aware of Matt's aggression, it makes it even harder to fold in a spot like this. Gets the call. The river pairs the board with the six. So it's just a mere full house for Waxman. Yep, great card for Matt, bad one for Darren. If the river had been a heart or something like a king or an eight or a five, maybe he can get away without paying off, but now that will be tough. What will be the amount? That's what Waxman's trying to figure out. How can I get paid off? Sixty. Oh boy. This is about to be a million chip pot if Darren makes this call. Nine's full. And he does. Matt Waxman takes down the biggest pot of this final table thus far. No detection of any anger by Elias, but you know it's there. Yeah. Matt Waxman looking good. Takes it from the chip leader. Five players remain here on the World Poker Tour. That's a good hand. Modest <laughs> <laughs> with the little needle after the hand. Waxman now our chip leader. He has taken it over from Darren Elias. On Modest, he's going to fold. The Frenchman, David Benjamin, picking up a beautiful hand. Pair of queens. And he will raise to 40,000. Benjamin has been very patient. The one big pair he had earlier got cracked. Now making a second attempt with Queens against Matt Waxman. You started the hand with 330. A little under. You're good, you're good. 278 more. Yeah, Waxman in the big blind has a 10-8 of clubs. And he's liable to do anything. This time, just calling. Here we go, queens versus 10-8, and the flop is a king, 9-4, but there's two clubs. Well, the Frenchman can't be excited about that king hitting, but still, he's making the bet, 28. Yeah, and I wonder whether Matt is just gonna check shove on David, or whether he'll check call and try and play this out a little less risky. Waxman just calling, hoping to hit a club. Not there, though, five of diamonds. So there's 160 in this pot. And I'm curious whether Benny Mean will bet this turn or check. And it looks like he's going to go for the bet, which I, I like very much. There's a lot of hands that he's still ahead of that Waxman can call once. And he bets small, just over quarter pot. Well, he's on the short stack, too. He's plunging away. He's getting the right price to see a river and draw to his nine outs. We know it's actually eight outs because David has the queen of clubs. Calling, hoping to hit the flush and to break Benjamin. Let's take a peek. No, it doesn't happen. A nine hits, pairs the board. That should slow things down. A nine is one of the most likely hands that Matt would check call twice with. So Benjamin checks behind, afraid that Matt either has a nine or a king, but he will be relieved to see he's going to win this time. David Benjamin from Paris, France, now living in Vegas and LA, takes down a good one. Right now, Darren Elias, with the pair of sevens, has made it 35,000 to go. 
And it's around to Shulman. All in. He's going to shove with a pair of fours. Modest goes out. And count, please. So Darren wanting a count. He'll be in great shape. 438. Nick shoving about 25 blinds here with the fours. That's going to be close for Darren. Can tell he senses it's kind of borderline, but he does make the call and he's going to be way in front. Wow. Nick Shulman in a lot of trouble right now. There's little pair of fours up against the bigger sevens. Five cards to come. Anything can happen. Here come the first three. It's a four. Oh, wow. Ace by four. Three of a kind there. Wow. But Nick Shulman. This final table is taking a very bad turn for Darren Elias. Here comes the turn. Oh, but a seven on the turn. Oh, my God. Good luck, guys. I take it all back. And it is over. Yeah, Nick. Thank you. Good luck. Darren Elias finds the seven he needs on the turn and scores the knockout of Nick Schulman. Tony, how do you run so good? Nick Schulman out in fifth place. He's gone from champ to chumpsville. Let's see what he has to say. I thought you got unlucky one time. <laughs> oh, like one second. <laughs> Nick, a tough beat there in the last hand, but this is just another day at the office for you. I wanted to win, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm disappointed, but I'm still. You know, thankful to have made it, and uh, I'll be back. Darren Elias back out in front with 1.5 million, and he quickly folds this hand. And Matt Waxman behind him with an ace 10. Matt's going to raise this up into the big blind of David Benjamin, and he's got a King Jack, so he'll make the call. Then we'll go to a flop. It is a 9-7 deuce to help to either player. David with the backdoor flush draw, Matt a backdoor straight draw, but both of them are high enough up that they're able to just sort of check here and try and get to showdown. Deuce on the turn, pairs the board. Let's see if Waxman takes a shot. No, he checks as well, Go into the river. It's a king, that is good for Benjamin. Okay. Now, Benjamin hasn't had much luck at this final table, but he finally finds a favorable river and fires out 40,000 into Matt. We've said that Matt can be pretty sticky. He does have ace high here. Does he want to try and look up Benjamin? Look at that look. He wears all his emotions on his sleeve. He's going to make this call, and he's not going to like it. It was worth the investment, perhaps. He mucks his hand, and yeah, you can see all of his emotions. He throws off certain looks that can distract the player. Mm -hmm. Like that. I don't know what it means, but he's doing something to throw off his opponent. He's a tricky guy, tricky guy, Matt Waxman. This time, Benjamin with a queen, nine of hearts. He's still a short stack but he has raised it up. Darren with fours behind him. And Darren knows that these don't play very well as a call against someone that's pretty short. So he essentially turns it into a bluff pre-flop and three bets David, who quickly goes out. Takes that one down from David Benjamin. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT22 and get a $1,200 deposit bonus. Actions on the Lithuanian Matas Symbolis. Great name, by the way. Just rolls off the tongue. He's going to fold. Benjamin out. Darren Elias with a 9 4 of hearts. He almost looks like a scientist when he's going to make a decision. Really deep thought. Very stoic. Yeah. Darren has done a lot of limping in his small blind, and he's going to continue that with the 9-4 suited. Matt's going to check with the 7-deuce offsuit. All right, we'll see what happens. Here come the first three. Interesting flop for Junkie Hands. 6-4-3. 
They go check, check, a five. Man, and it stays interesting. Matt picks up a straight. Darren now with third pair and a flush draw, checking once more over to Matt. 25,000. Why not? Darren's gonna play. Hoping to hit a flush. There it is. Wow. Four time champion. That's what happens. <laughs> and he's gonna check it. Yep, nice check. Oh boy. And Matt, of course, has to bet his straight. He even has a blocker to a flush here. That's a 60,000 bet. Darren now unloading the check raise, going up to 210,000. This is a tough spot for Matt. Not only do you have a seven, but you do have a blocker to hearts. Although it's not a particularly relevant one. It's 150 more. The clock is ticking down. Matt has made some very disciplined folds, but he's also made some very sticky calls. He's gonna use a time bank chip to buy himself another 30 seconds with the action clock. I almost checked back. <laughs> and I thought. I'm happy that Matt did not check back because that would have been absurd. Mm. He would have been right, but it would have been absurd. Call. Flush. Yeah. And he's going to make this call. Gross feeling. Would have been a sick check. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be the guy that makes straights and flushes on his blind. I wish Modest would add something just to get the full table worth of needles. Oh, the blind's gone up to 10 and 20. And it's around to Darren. And he has a king five. And he is going to pop it up there. Makes it 70 to go. And Waxman wants revenge as an ace deuce. And he will make this call. Now, Darren taking a more aggressive stance out of the small blind now, raising a king five offsuit, gets a queen, queen, three, two diamond flop. And yeah, neither one hitting a Darren, not gonna make a continuation bet. He checks. Waxman steaming like a cheap economy car after that last hand. We'll make a bet. 40,000. Darren with just enough hand to peel this flop. Blind versus blind. Six on the turn. Nothing changes. Darren checks. Check, check. Nine of hearts on the river. Darren sensing he cannot win by checking. He's going to turn his hand into a bluff and bets 150,000. Matt has been very sticky on the river with ace high. You see him do it with the ace-8 against Modest. You see him do it with ace-10 against David Benjamin. Last time he called down Darren Elias, it didn't work out so well, but if he puts the pieces well together here and makes this call, he's going to be very happy with the result. And he does call. Tell you what, Vince. Matt is not the man you want to bluff. All right, a little revenge on Darren Elias. He's thinking it through. Action on the chip leader, Darren Elias. A four-time WPT champion. He's going to fold that mess. Matt Waxman also going out. Modest symbolists in the small blind. Facing off against the short stack, David Benjamin. He's got about 24, 25 blinds, and a lot of players would move in with King Jack there. David takes the more cautious approach and just calls preflop. A flop is a queen, queen five, helps neither player. Modest doesn't care. He's going to put in a continuation bet, it appears. Yep, 40,000 into the Frenchman. David Benjamin going to call this wee-wee. Oui, oui.
turn is a three of hearts. Neither player has a heart. Not really the card that Midas was looking for. He'd probably fire a second barrel on a nine, king, or eight. They go check, check. But now with a fourth heart, Midas realizing that his opponent is unlikely to have anything that good if he checked back the turn, and he can only win by betting. So... 80,000 leads to a quick fold from Benny Bean, so Modest pulls that one out in the river. That feels good. When you don't have the heart, there's four of them out there, there's a pair, and you bet with nothing but guts, and you win. Benjamin having a tough time at this final table. Back to the action. It's going to be on Waxman, who's been up and down here tonight. He's going to fold this hand. Modest also going out. All in. David Benjamin with a pair of seven says all in. He's in the small blind here. Darren Elias looks down at fives. Call. Please don't get lucky. If anybody could make an upset happen, it's Elias. He's been running so good lately. Yes. Playing good and running good. One time, the bigger pair has to hold. I mean, I'm saying that, but what is the difference if I lose the next one? <laughs> I like that Benjamin is so uh, blasé about how this all turns out. Okay, if you gotta beat me, I want I want you to beat me when I flop the seven first and find a way, and then I'll have a nice story. So you'll take six, seven, eight right now? I, uh, yeah, I have a nice story. I don't take six, seven, eight now, but <laughs> if he has to beat me, I want to beat me after flopping a seven. To this day, I've always enjoyed David Benjamin's demeanor. Queen Jack 10. Boy is gonna have a chance to chop. Chop it up. Don't pair the board. Next card, deuce. I should call seven. That's silly. Darren looking for a miracle. Oh, no! It's a five on the turn for Darren Elias. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's so crazy. I mean, this, this is too spooky. You wanted a story, you're gonna get it. Wow. Going to the river. Four on the river. It's over. And Darren hits a miraculous five on the turn to catch up against David Benjamin, scores the elimination. Benjamin out in fourth. Enjoy, Darren. Nice play. Enjoy. It's a pleasure, Mr. Benjamin. Good luck. You don't need much, but good luck. Absolutely stunning. David Benjamin out in fourth will take home 123,000. The Frenchman has been fried. Let's go talk to him. He said he wanted it after the flop. <laughs> <laughs>